find the value of k for which the quadratic equation 5x squared plus 3x plus k is equal to 0 has two unequal roots. So two unequal roots means discriminant must greater than 0. So when you draw a graph, it looks like this. So it's you have two unequal roots. So one, in another word, two solution. So keep that in mind. So the discriminant is equal to b squared minus 4ac. So we know that a is 5. This a here, b is 3. And c is k. So which is b is 3 squared minus 4 lots of 5, 5 and k. To simplify, that's what we get. So we want discriminant greater than 0. So this means that 9 minus 20k is greater than 0. Then I move the negative 20k on this side. So leave with 9 is greater than 20k. So I divide by 20, divide by 20. So k is k is less than 9 over 20. So that's what the answer is. Now. Find the value of k for which the quadratic has no real roots. So no real roots means the graph is up here somewhere like that. Or it's like that, can be anywhere. So that means had no has no solutions in another word. So this means that the discriminant must less than zero. So we already found the discriminant. The discriminant of this is that. The discriminant is equal to 9 minus 20k. So which is 9 minus 20k. So we, we want to be less than 0. So which is solve it. So I move the minus 20 on the side. So 9k. 9 is less than 20k. That's what I mean. So then k is greater than 9 over 20. Find the values of k for which the quadratic equation x squared minus open bracket k plus 3 close bracket x plus k plus 5 is equal to 0 has equal roots. So equal roots means the graph of the function like this or like that. Just touch the um, x axis like that. Okay, so something like that. So this means that the discriminant must equal to zero. That's what that means. All right. So now discriminant is equal to b squared minus 4ac. So b is this. This is b. a is equal to 1 because 1 here. And this is c. Now b squared is equal to minus k plus 3 all square like this but because negative square it give you a positive so it is exactly the same as this here so b square it is the same as that so i just write that down like that so we expand this out so we get this now to expand k plus 3 just in k you you don't know how to expand this quickly we do perfect square of course so this is k square and then k times 3 is 3k and then you double give me 6k and then 3 square give me 9 just add that that's how I get the answer quickly so now I just simplify um, the um, the uh, equations so which give me this so then I want to solve this so the best technique for this is we do perfect square. So we are half, let's say I write this down first, plus 2k minus 11 equals 0. So half this, give me k plus 1. If I expand this out, it give me up to here exactly the same except 1 extra. So I minus 1 out. So and then this 11 minus 11, I just write this down equals 0. 
So this bit here give me minus 12. So k plus 1 all square minus 12 equals 0. So that's what I get. And then I move the 12 on the other side. So which give me k plus 1 all square is equal to 12. So now I want to square root both sides. So which give me k plus 1 is equal to plus or minus square root of 12. Now don't forget 12 is 4 times 3. So therefore 12 square root 12 is square root of this which is 2 root 3. So that's what I simplify to. So that's is k plus 1 is equal to plus minus 2 root 3 and move the 1 on the other side. So therefore k is equal to minus 1 minus 2 root 3 or k equal minus 1 plus 2 root 3. That's the answer for that. Now, next part of the question. Find the value of k for which the quadratic equation has two unequal roots. So two unequal roots mean the graph is look like this. Or like that can be like that but in this case x is positive x squared the coefficient of x squared positive so graph like that so you have two solution here that's what I mean so this means that the discriminant must greater than zero since we already found the discriminant this is the discriminant um, when um, well the discriminant equal one so um, one solution or one real root we have this answer there so now which is use this just do a quick sketch we have that solution here so but we want discriminant greater than zero this means that we want positive so if you graph this this is the graph for that if you like so we want the whole lot be positive so we want from this onward so therefore the discriminant is k for the discriminant greater than zero for k will be from this onward and k from this onward as well. So therefore, the answer is k is less than negative 1 minus 2 root 3 or k is greater than minus 1 plus 2 root 3. Now, this question here, prove that the line y equal to 3 minus 2x cuts the parabola y equal x squared minus 5 twice so we we don't want to find out the what what the, the coordinates are we just want to show it is cut the line cut the parabola twice so what we can do is we can make them equal sorry we make them equal and then we rearrange it to become a quadratic equations now you can of course can solve it and then find the two points so there you that's you can prove by that way but we don't have to which is as long as we prove that cut twice this means that we just want the discriminant because if the discriminant greater than zero this means that these quadratic equations ha has two real roots that means cut twice so that's what that means so now the discriminant must greater than zero so which is for the discriminant the discriminant of this is b square of course so that's a rule b square minus 4ac so you know that a is 1 b is 2 and c equal to negative 8 so therefore b square minus 4ac which is 4 minus 4 this is discriminant Okay, I write underneath here, so you know. So discriminant equal b squared, so b squared is 2 squared is 4, minus 4, loss of 1, and then uh, loss of minus 8, so which is 4 plus 4 times 8 is 32, so which is 36. See, so that's what I have. I just substitute in, and then um, and let me clear this first. And then put in a calculator or you can do um, do in your head. So which is, I run out of space here, I just write here, discriminant equal 4 plus 32. So which is 36. So which is greater than 0. So which is 
greater than zero. So therefore, the the line the line y equal three minus two x cuts the parabola y equal x squared minus five twice. Thank you so much for watching.